Some people say that it's about the destination and some will say it's about the journey. We say it's about the ride. Today we share the top six rallies and the ride that goes along with them. Hi, I'm Belle. And I'm Andy. And this is Boss. The last two years we have traveled 40,000 miles zigzagging across the United States exploring some of the most beautiful areas our country has to offer. It's time for a new adventure or revisiting an old one. We are Bell's Rides, where we enjoy the ride. In 2022 and 2023, so far, we went to six motorcycle rallies. We want to share them with you in order by date. Our first hog rally, kicking it in Cody. Hey, Buffalo Bill here. We go back a long way. Well guys, we are doing several firsts on this trip. First time for a hog rally and first time doing a demo ride. So much fun. This is the 2022, 2022 Rogue Glide CVO. I just got on it, off of it and it, I'm telling you a thing, one thing right now is freaking cool. It is so nice, fits me like a glove. Unfortunately, it's not blue, so can't buy it. During Kicking It and Cody, we rode many of the area scenic rides, but none of them were like the ride to the summit of Beartooth Pass by way of Chief Joseph Highway. Highway 296 was named after Chief Joseph Henma Tuya Latquit, born March 3rd, 1840. If you have never felt the mountains as if they were alive, you should ride the very mountainous terrain where he led his tribe, the Nez Pierce, to escape General Olive O. Howard, seeking asylum to the north with Canada. We weren't sure how far of the Beartooth Pass we were going to be able to ride due to the recent floods that washed out some of the highway but we were thrilled to make it to the summit, 10,947 feet. Some people dream of going to Sturgis their whole life. I was one of those people, growing up listening to stories of my big brother's rides to Sturgis, camping along the way at rest areas and at the city park in Sturgis. Thousands of people from all walks of life, young and old, with a common interest come here each year. The Black Hills ride is like no other in the country, and it wasn't by accident. The visionary designer of the scenic byways captured the best of the Black Hills to share with us all for decades. And for the last 83 years, a special time carved out the beginning of August each year for motorcyclists. The motorcycle community is one of the most generous communities. Most will give the shirt off their back. For three years, the Blue Ride has honored fallen law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty. This ride, we honored Austin Ramsey, a young rookie at my husband's department. Austin secretly suffered from PTSD from his time serving our country as an Army Ranger. Hey, Blue Ride Riders! Everybody wave! <whistles> what a special treat. We ended up at the Stone House. And they ended up... Yes! 
and that was such a treat. So, yeah, we kind of lost for words because a lot. Next up is the Four Corners Rally. Y'all look way over there. That road coming down. The riding in and around the Four Corners Rally is nothing less than spectacular. And although the rally itself was somewhat lower scale as in size and vendors than expected, the rides did not disappoint. Tell you what, every time you get Indy on a on a curvy road, the California come out in him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta hit the twisties when you can. <laughs> Heck yeah, here coming pretty soon. We're gonna have some, some a lot of straight lines. Yep, and remember, there's no guardrails up there, and uh, some people say this is one of the most dangerous roads in America. There are many legends of how the Million Dollar Highway got its name. One of which was that it was built using a million dollars worth of gold and silver tailings. Another legend claims the nickname originates from an exhausted traveler who proclaimed, I would not travel that road again for a million dollars. Adam Sandoval's old school rally, the Stubborn American, is next at K River Campground. We take our Class A bus into K River Campground. It really isn't designed for four-wheeling rutted dirt roads, but we felt it was worth the trip because we are Stubborn Americans. After dropping the Harley Toad and camp was set up, we were off to explore the campground. Adam Sandoval has transformed it into a veteran sanctuary. The tree houses are designed with our veterans in mind. Bikers began to arrive from all across the nation. Nevada. 
and it was time to let the shenanigans begin. Throughout the weekend of shenanigans of fellow stubborn Americans, there were old school biker games to raise money for various charities like this one that raised $1,000 for the Christian Motorcycle Association and the slow motorcycle races where Kid took the title from the reigning champion, Adam Sandoval himself. After a long weekend of fun with our fellow stubborn Americans, we're off to our next rally. Affectionately known by the locals as the island, Galveston is home of the Lone Star Rally. It's also home to scenic attractions along with beautiful oceanside rides. Second Bike Week, Daytona Beach, Florida, 2023. We arrived at Daytona International Speedway for the Harley Davidson and Sturgis Buffalo Chip Biker Bells Morning Ride. We make our way across town to the Ormond Scenic Loop with our team of motormen to hold traffic for us. We cruise under the thick canopy of trees along the Intracoastal Waterway, Halifax River, and the marshes of the Bulow Creek State Park. 
After a brief stop to allow a boat to pass under the drawbridge, we continue on to the Atlantic Ocean, crossing the L.B. Knox Bridge. We head south on A1A along the Atlantic Ocean. What a beautiful day for a ride. As we get closer to Main Street, I wish I had some beads to toss to the bikers on the shoulder. We make our way back to the Harley-Davidson headquarters, where I am honored to meet Sturgis Hall of Famer Gloria Strzok. I've been a fan for a long time. Check this out. One of my personal favorites is Gloria Strzok, born July 7, 1925, and is still riding at the age of 95. She estimates that she has ridden over 650,000 miles in her career of riding. Gloria is one of the early members of the Motor Maze, joining in 1946. Oh, I can't even believe I'm alive yet. It's still riding. <laughs> to meet Gloria Strzok and to ride with all these amazing women during the morning ride at Bike Week is such an honor, and I look forward to next year. Until next time, enjoy the ride.